Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to what is, in effect, a winter wonderland. The uh, snow-decorated perimeter of the pitch is perfect evidence of this and, indeed, evidence of the efforts that the ground staff have made to get all of the white stuff off the playing surface. The forecasters do say that we will have snow throughout the game, but we have been told absolutely categorically that things aren't expected to get any worse. The atmosphere is terrific, the turnout, considering the weather, is excellent, and you do get the sense that a special event is ahead of us. The Emirates Stadium, in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Oh, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. And that gets things running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? I'd say Petr Cech. I'm trying to come up with a, a flaw in his game, and I can't. Dependable and strong in, in every aspect of a goalkeeper's job. And he breeds confidence for his defence. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Aubameyang goes looking. Ramsey. Hector Bellerin. Has he picked him out? Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Lacazette clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. Out wide to the right. Sané. Silva. Can he put it away? Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. So, a breakthrough already. Monreal. Keeper's got good distance on that. Stones positions himself well and cuts it out. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So, what are they attempting to do well it's it's a bold attempt in my opinion to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting looks to clip it forward De Bruyne Sterling that's the ball in over hits and out of play Ozil. Stones gets his foot in there. The question that's a foul.
Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Herthel clips one through. Walker floats one over. Sane hurtling down that right flank. He's got it, and he's got time. Gets up to Hennis! Oh, he's done ever so well. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. Deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. starting to look very comfortable we're looking at a very different game now the command has been established and the through ball is intercepted Aubameyang and he needed a better pass there Walker hits that long and the weighted pass. And he just whacks it away. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. And we hit half-time. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position. So why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Manchester in control at half-time. 2-0. So we're just settling back into this second half. That's surely a foul free kick. Cooper is right behind it. I was expecting him to play it in until I saw his run up. chance to break good ball oh he's in to Bruyne and he's there to make a great save oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp Xhaka knocks it away Lacazette. Aubameyang brings the ball forward. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Mondi. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Ramsey. Puts the dink one in. Dinked in. And it's also Massive leap! <laughs> Harmlessly behind. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do.
Arsenal are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Merfel eyeing that space, and it's got through. It's a brilliant interception. Ederson deals with it effortlessly. Kyle Walker. And it's Sané. Now it's Aguero. Sterling. Oh, that is lovely foot. And Sterling! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. controlled he's got a one it's one oh, it just wouldn't sit for him the drone really needed everything to come together then at the precise moment uh, not easy and it's hoisted clear Mustafi. Ozil. Tries to get it forward quickly. And well played, he saw that coming. Aimed long and direct. Aguero looks to get on the end of this. Ozil is desperately calling for it out wide. Mkhitaryan cut out in the nick of time forward it goes I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances to be honest there's absolutely no supply Hector Bellerin Ozil gets it back Bellerin Mesut Ozil It into the middle. Great lead! And the follow-up. Surely this time. It's in. Deep, deep into injury time. Aderson reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done for the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. Arsenal give themselves a chance of a fair... Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Manchester come out on top. Hard fall, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. Your final thoughts, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match, and if you can back that up with an early goal, it just energises everybody, the whole performance, and I think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal.